Trevor Reed is coming home to North Texas. The U.S. Marine veteran has been detained in Russia since 2019. His family Wednesday elated to hear the news. It's a great day for us and for Trevor. And uh, we're just looking forward to seeing him. His parents say they've been in touch with him while on his journey home. They expect to see him Thursday. We're hoping to find out more information the closer he gets to the United States. Reed was serving time after Russian officials say he assaulted an officer. He was sentenced to nine years in prison, but his family maintains his innocence. Finally, after waiting all this time, I'm going to be able to hug my kid, you know, put my arms around him. You know, I had a little bit of a, a panic attack when he told me he was going to spend the whole summer in Russia. So nine months, and then now it's been almost a thousand days. So I'm just excited to see him. Let me say that it's a huge moment uh, today that speaks to President Biden's commitment to bring home Americans held hostage and wrongfully detained around the world. While the good news came in for Reed's family, two other Americans, WNBA star Brittany Griner and Marine vet Paul Whelan, remain jailed. We have, of course, been in touch with their families uh, over the course of time. I'm not going to detail those conversations further. As part of the exchange, the U.S. released a convicted drug trafficker serving time in Connecticut. Families of Griner and Whelan and both worry escalating tensions in Russia and Ukraine might make it harder to get their loved ones home. Bridget Spencer, Fox 7 Austin News.